Questions? What are you looking to get out of uh, the upcoming exhibition? Well, we get to play against somebody else. You know, we'll have about 21, 22 practices in under our belt and all against one another. So that exhibition game and, and the scrimmage that follows gives us an opportunity to, to go against somebody else. You know, not really doing a scouting report or worrying about what they do, but that'll give us film to see what actions they did hurt our defense and what we were doing offensively, what they were easily able to guard. So um, right now, going blue, gold, and going against each other, there's a good familiarity with it. So we need to play somebody that knows us as well right now. What do you think of for uh, your starters for Friday? Uh, not sure. You know, if, if we had to start today, you know, we'd have Bryce, Isaac, Norman, uh, Kavan, and Tony. If everything goes well the next couple days, that's probably the way we'll go. Um, but what I've really liked, we had a scrimmage about four or five days ago where we did multiple combinations and being able to swing Kavan a lot of areas now that he's healthy uh, really helps us because we can, we can go big, which, um, you know, that's what's going to be different. You know, we can go and with a big lineup where you've got possibly Tony and Tom in there at once, and then we can go long and athletic, and when we're resting both Tom and Tony or we have foul trouble or we want to change the tempo um, then we can go really long and big with like Kavan and Juana and Gigi uh, because I think the the two guys that have really um, done some things way ahead of where we thought they'd be right now have been Juana and Gigi so seeing what they've been able to do in the first 20 days of practice has been really encouraging. How's Kavan's hip? right now really good he, he's had no problems we had a 40 minute scrimmage um, I can't remember the day it's Wednesday I, I think it was over the weekend and uh, he was great played in just about every minute of that so uh, it was kind of just a day-to-day -day thing making sure it didn't get any uh, where it was going to be long term and we hope it's not going to be long term but he's doing a good job with treatments and uh, he's not been slowed at all uh, we've had a little bit of illness going through the entire team um, so I'll make you see today kind of where everybody's at but uh, we're coming off a day off so Hopefully they're able to get some rest, but uh, as far as the hip, he hadn't had any problems. Are you going to monitor his minutes a little bit, just in the exhibition, or is he? Um, like yeah, that? I think what the, we wouldn't monitor it because of, of hip. I don't think uh, he seems to be full go that way. I think we're just going to play it by ear, not just with him, but with everybody. But that's really our only time publicly. You know, the next one is a um, is a private scrimmage. And so this is really our first dry run through uh, and our only dry run through before we have to open and play seven games in 14 days. So we, we've got to approach this exhibition game where I get some guys minutes, but we really try to use the, the atmosphere the, from officials to clock to you know fans to everything else. It's really the only dry run through they're going to have. So we've got to make good use of those 40 minutes. The backcourt depth is not like the front court right now. How often do you anticipate those three guards that you said were going to probably start? How often do you anticipate being, them being on the court at the same time? Well, I think you're going to see that. You know, you could see that combination as long as we stay healthy um, a lot. But again, we really, really like what Noah's doing, uh, and now, like I mentioned with Kavan, in the last seven to ten days, being able to play him uh, and swing him. You know, we either play. A four guard lineup with Kavan, or when we sub and it becomes, you know, maybe Juana and Tom or Juana and Tony. Um, those are your more your traditional two two bigs and three guards. But one of those three guards could be Kavan, and that's what has been really encouraging over the. We thought that would happen, uh, so you're going to end up having, you know, a five guard rotation anyway. You know, you know, we don't have quite the. We're probably one body depth wise shy of where we were last year with guards. Uh, but knowing that we can play Kavan there now uh, pretty comfortably with that, uh, that does give us a little bit more flexibility in the backcourt that uh, I'm not for sure we, we thought we had maybe seven, eight days ago. How's it feel being back in Pollock? Oh, it's, it's been terrific. You know, we, you know, the flood provided a brand new weight room and nutrition room that'll be done by the weekend and a uh, training room that's got enhancements in it. So um, it was terrific. The floors really came out well and got the bleachers all back in the, and I've said it before but uh, really the people behind the scenes they deserve all the credit they, they worked awfully hard when something like that hit and really gutted the lower level here to get everything back functional uh, even earlier about a week earlier than what we thought so to be in here we're very grateful for that and I'm very I'm thankful for the Clipper organization as well we were able to uh, 
they allowed us to practice over there a few times, and, and that really helped us too. To, uh, to get away from campus and, and to get in a facility like that really helped us as well. So everybody involved has been terrific, and uh, but it feels really good being back in here. What does Tony need to do to take the next step forward? You know, his maturity so far has been great. Uh, through 20 practices, he's been, you know, he's working at a very high level. Uh, he's running the floor, which he knows we want to play that way. Uh, and both he and Tom are doing a really good job of running the floor. And, and Tony's a little bit more used to it because he was here a year ago. Uh, he's getting on the front end of some fast breaks, which you didn't see that a whole lot last year. Um, he's rebounding the ball pretty well. We've got, uh, you know, the rebounding so far has been pretty good. And it's, um, it's been dispersed between about six or seven guys. So uh, that's a positive because we, we knew that uh, we were giving up a lot of rebounding, especially with Kyle leaving. So uh, the rebounding's been good, and obviously Tony anchors that. But uh, he's been really good in the post. His development and Tom's development is going to be, you know, I think a big key on how they defend the post, how they defend pick and rolls without getting in foul trouble. And if they do that, uh, that's really going to help us do the things that we're wanting to do because both of those guys are legitimate go-to guys in the post. They know what to do with it and they know how to score. So those things are good. And he's making more free throws in practice, so that's a positive. Juana and Gigi are names that keep coming up every week. What specifically have you liked about what they've been showing? Well, we knew both of them were hard workers, but um, their production uh, from rebounding and with Juana. Uh, Juana's rebounding the ball at a high level right now. He's running the floor. He's getting putbacks. He's getting tip dunks. Uh, he's really defending well. Uh, and I think probably been our best screener, which has really helped our offense. He's doing things that we're asking him to do, and he's not doing the things he shouldn't be doing. And when you do that, you have a chance to look pretty good, and, and he's been doing that. And with Gigi, you've just got a really skilled 6'10 kid, I mean, very, very skilled, and, and we knew that. Um, he's got to continue to get stronger, and he's working every day on that. He lifts about one or two more times than what the rest of the guys are doing, so he's enjoying American food. You know, so you know the weight and the strength, that will happen through maturity and just getting older and being over here a little bit longer. He's only been over here um, almost two years. So that thing, those things are going to happen, but he's got an incredible skill set, and we're seeing a very, very good passing big man. And that's really helped us offensively. Physical-wise, given that he's not up to the strength where he's going to be in a couple years, is he ready to get in the rotation? Oh, he's fighting for it. Uh, you know, we're early. We, you know, we're just still not to November, so I, I don't think we're set for a rotation yet. But you know, if we had to start today, Gigi's definitely fighting for that. You know, his his scrimmage was really good. His practices have been really good. So um, the guys like playing with him just because he he's got a really good understanding for a young player. He's got a good understanding how to play. He moves the ball. He, uh, he spaces the floor well, he runs the floor well, and again, like Juana, he's not trying to do things he's not ready to do yet. So you look better by staying away from your weaknesses, and he's doing a good job with that.